In this video, we will learn to compare which objects is the heaviest. Today, a weight lifting competition is going on in Champapur. First, it is Bhola's turn. Bhola brought a sack filled with cotton. He lifted the sack very easily. Everyone clapped excitedly. Now, next is Bunny's turn. Bunny has brought 20 carrots from his house in a bag. Bunny definitely had some trouble lifting his bag. But in the end, he was finally able to lift the bag. Finally, it is Sher Khan's turn. Sher Khan has brought some bricks in a sack. He tried to lift it once, but was not successful. On trying again, Sher Khan was finally able to lift the sack full of bricks. The audience clapped more loudly. Now, the judge of the competition, Barbole Uncle, is wondering who should be the winner after all. Children, can you tell which of the three carried the most weight? No, no problem. Let us see how Uncle is solving this puzzle. Uncle noticed that the three contestants brought different items in different bags and sacks. Therefore, we cannot compare their weight. So, what can we do now? Uncle brought a weighing scale. Children, do you know? What a weighing scale is? A weighing scale is a device for measuring weight and it is made of two plates. We have to put the two things whose weight we want to compare on these plates of the weighing scale. The weighing scale will tip towards the side of the plate which has more weight on it. Uncle first placed Bhola's sack on a plate of the scales and placed Bunny's bag of carrots on the second plate. Children, can you tell whose item is lighter and whose item is heavier? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the right answer. The weighing scale tipped towards Bunny's carrot bag. That is why Bunny's carrot bag is heavier than Bhola's bag full of cotton. Now, the competition will be between Sher Khan and Bunny. Uncle now replaced Bhola's sack with the sack filled with Sher Khan's bricks. Children, can you tell which of these items is heavier? Your answer is absolutely correct. This time, the scale tips towards the sack filled with Sher Khan's bricks. So, the sack with Sher Khan's bricks is a lot heavier than Bunny's bag filled with carrots. Children, can you tell who will be the winner? Because the sack filled with Sher Khan's bricks 
is heavier than bunny's bag filled with carrots and bunny's bag of carrots is heavier than bhola's sack of cotton therefore sher khan's sack filled with bricks is also heavier than bhola's cotton sack in this way sher khan is the winner of this competition finally uncle also found the winner of the competition in this way because sher khan's sack with bricks is the heaviest in weight sher khan is the winner of this competition see the audience is continuously clapping without stopping and sher khan is dancing happily children in this video we learn to compare the weights of objects in the next video we will learn more about it by some interesting examples the children in the previous video we learn to compare the weights of objects in this video we will learn more about it by some interesting examples bhola golu and sher khan are returning from the school sher khan is walking fast golu is a little behind him and bhola is following them both sher khan asks bhola why is he moving so slowly then bhola told him that his bag is the heaviest so he is moving slowly sher khan said that his bag is the heaviest golu then told them that his bag was the heaviest at that time barbole uncle was passing by he saw all three friends fighting when he asked the reason for their fight he came to know that each one of them felt that his bag was the heaviest uncle told them that there is a way by which he can find out whose bag is really the heaviest uncle brought all three of them to his house uncle has a large weighing balance with him uncle also brought some balls firstly Uncle placed Sher Khan's bag on one plate of the balance. Now, Uncle started placing the balls one by one in this way on the second plate. Uncle kept placing the balls on the scales until both sides of the scales came to the same position the children could not understand anything uncle then explained them that when the two plates of the scales are on the same level it means that the weight of the objects in both the plates is the same When uncle counted those balls he found that there were 13 balls in the plate Do you know what this means It means that the weight of 13 balls equals Sher Khan's bag's weight Now uncle took Sher Khan's bag from the scales and also remove the balls now on one side of the scale uncle kept bhola's bag and on the other side 
started placing the balls one by one. Once again, both the plates reached the same level. But this time, there were 20 balls in the plate. Children, what does it mean? Yes, it means that the weight of 20 balls equals the weight of Bhola's bag. Now, Uncle weighed Golu's bag with the scales. This time, when the plate came to the same level, there were 17 balls in the plate. This means that the weight of 17 balls equals weight of Golu's bag. Children, the number of balls equal to the weight of the bag of three friends is written here. Now, can you tell whose bag weighs the most? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done! Your answer is absolutely correct. Highest number of balls is 20 balls and is equal to the weight of Bhola's bag. That's why Bhola's bag is the heaviest. And whose bag is the lightest? Exactly! Sher Khan's bag is the lightest because the number of balls equal to the weight of his bag is 13 which is the smallest number. Children, can you look at these scales and tell which of these two items is heavier? Yes, the water bottle weighs two balls and the tiffin box weighs one ball. So, the weight of the water bottle is more than the weight of the tiffin box. Uncle taught the children to compare the weight of items using weighing balance. Finally, Sher Khan and Golu realized that Bhola's bag was indeed heavier than their bags. Knowing this, Sher Khan and Golu told Bhola that they would carry his bag for some distance and help Bholu to lift the weight of his bag. Children, you must always help your friends too. Children, in this video, we learn to compare the weight of objects with some interesting examples. In the next video, we shall see some misconceptions that students do in the next video. In the previous video, we learned to compare the weight of objects with some interesting examples. In this video, we shall learn on the misconceptions related to the concept. Chanda, Bunny and Appu have come to play in the park. Appu has brought a big balloon. Chanda has brought a cricket ball and Bunny brought 10 marbles. All three have come up with a unique way to decide which game to play today. The person whose toy will weigh the most, all three will play that game. Appu immediately said, Look, 
how big my balloon is compared with your toys. It means the weight of my balloon is more than your marbles and cricket ball. Let's play with my balloon. Children, do you find any truth in Appu's statement? In reality, is a large item always the heaviest? Let's see how these three friends have found out the truth in Appu's statement. After listening to Appu, Chanda said, Look, there is a weighing balance at Bhola's vegetable stall. Why don't we measure the weight of our toys with his balance? The trio immediately reached Bhola's vegetable stall. There, Chanda placed her cricket ball in a plate of Bhola scales and Appu's balloon on the other plate. Children, can you tell whose toy is heavier? Yes, the plate that contains Chanda's cricket ball has tipped downwards. This means Chanda's cricket ball is heavier than Appu's balloon. This means what Appu said is not right. Children, remember that if any item is big in appearance, it is not necessary that its weight is more than the smaller ones. As soon as Bunny came to know that Chanda's cricket ball is heavier than Appu's balloon, he immediately told Chanda, Even though your balls weigh more than Appu's balloon, I have 10 marbles and you only have one ball. So my 10 marbles will definitely weigh more than your one ball. Children, is Bunny right? Is it necessary that when the weight of two items is being compared, the item which is more in quantity will have more weight? Let's see. Now, Chanda removed Appu's balloon from Bhula's scale and replaced it with Bunny's 10 marbles. Kids, can you tell whose toy is heavier? Yes! The weight of Chanda's one cricket ball is more than Bunny's 10 marbles. This means that Bunny was wrong. Of the two items whose weight is being compared, the item with a larger quantity does not always weigh more. Bunny and Appu agreed that the weight of Chanda's one cricket ball is more than Appu's balloon and Bunny's ten marbles. Finally, the three found out which game they had to play. They took Chanda's cricket ball and Bunny also brought a cricket bat from his house. All three friends played the game of cricket with great pleasure. Children, in this video, we learned about some misconceptions related to comparing weight.